Okay, I'm gonna show you a little something different today. I'm gonna to show you how to make a copper bowl. I've done a lot of copper sculpture. And it's kind of a specialized skill, but I thought I'd give you a quick demonstration. This is a round bowl. There's lots of different kinds to make, but here's a good starting place for how to make a copper bowl. You're gonna need some tin snips, ball peen hammer, a roll of duct tape, and then some 24, 22 gauge copper sheeting. I got this at a, a scrap yard. Uh, it's getting a little expensive these days, but you can still find it. Or just look in the yellow pages under copper sheeting. We are going to trace our form first. Trace around it. That is close enough. I'm going to cut that out with my tin snips just right on that line. Now I'm not using gloves, but copper can get some rough edges and you might get little cuts. So if you wanna wear some workman's gloves, that's probably a good idea. Don't throw this away, keep this for like little trim pieces or whatever. I'll show you later. A copper is really soft and flexible until you start hitting it. When you hit it, it kind of crystallizes and gets hard, and you'll see what I mean here in just a second. So en enjoy the nice, soft, pliable copper while you have it. First thing we're gonna do is put an edge on it. So we're gonna get our little wrench here, put it in a vise. We're gonna bend the edge of the copper around that wrench. All right, I've gone all the way around once. Sometimes it helps to go around again and just get a little bit deeper groove. The hard part about this round stuff is that it just builds up tension. Every time you shorten it or lengthen it, it wants to go someplace and there's no place for it to go. So it's a little bit tricky to work with. You'll see what I mean. Now we're gonna take the flat part of the hammer and just go around and keep bending in that edge. Just a little bit at a time. Don't try to get it all the way around on the first time around. Rome was not made in a day. And there was a good edge on a bowl made in one time around. And the second time around, go a little bit deeper. See right here's a tension point. It keeps expanding, but everything's expanding and there's no place to go. So you have to kind of muscle it through these little buckle points. Now put it down flat on the table and keep bending that around. With an inward striking hammer. I'll take the ball peen part and hit the inside lip and go around. Now you're almost pushing out. There, you've got a nice lip all the way around. It's not perfect, but nothing in life is. Now, we're gonna hammer out the bowl through the hole in our duct tape. So we're gonna start on the edge like this and just work our way around. Always aware of where that duct tape is. I'm filling that duct tape with my fingers and hitting right in the middle of it. around the edge a little bit. This one little stubborn guy won't go away. 
Now you just got to hammer until you push it all the way down. It's going to take a little bit of time. But eventually you're going to have a nice, beautiful bowl of hammered copper. Every time the hammer strikes, you actually get a little bit of like a little scrape. It's almost a jewel-like surface. So that's what gives hammered copper its beauty. Yeah, this is a big, this is a big honking bowl that I made. <laughs> that was a lot of hammering. I don't know what I was thinking. Start in the center and go in the spiral motion. When you're done, just even it out. I like to put a little flatter spot right on the bottom. It kind of stands like that. There you go. So that's how you make a copper bowl. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll answer as many as possible. My name's Rob Barrett. Have a good day.